I'll have to finally get home. Oh, oh. hello there, Gerald. Oh, so I just barely left my wrong. Oh. Man, I wish I could figure out how to make that reality converter work. Actually, actually, let me think of this idea. As well. Oh boy. Oh boy, that calculation's right. Gerald, Gerald, I'm about to go fix my reality machine, and I won't be back for a probably very long time. Don't worry, I'll bring you a souvenir, alright? Yeah, we'll see you later, Gerald. Oh man, I actually think this one's gonna work, Gerald. Gerald? Gerald, I actually think this one's gonna work. Right, let's cool him. Oh boy. Oh boy, I actually came up positive. Oh boy, it's actually coming up positive. Put the code in, put the code in. The portal should open by nine. Whoa, look at that thing. Go. Gerald, don't know where you are right now, but I'm about to go. And I'll see you in the next reality. Go to the house, Gerald. Hello everyone and welcome back, I'm your host today Mr. Mobile and today I'm just showing you around a new world, a new modded world on a new SMP that's coming soon called Title Classified, yeah. So right now this is so far what I have built for the beginning of the series. It will not be created, don't worry. It will be modded survival only. This is just the community house. Now we've got one called the Techie Crab, or Techie something crab, whatever it's called. And it's like a villager mob. So we've also got the Mr. Crayfish Furniture mod. That's a favorite. But yes, it's a Techtopia mod. So it allows us to make our own villages. So that's what this place is for. It's just for like, the village place and we'll have to make some more places as well. Now this here is another mod called the Waystones mod. It allows us basically to have places to teleport to. This place is called Classify Camp. And as you see there's nothing in here yet except for that big thing up there. I had to deal with the dragon earlier. But this is where the campsite's going to be. And everyone that joins the server will make their site here. We will be able to use the waystones eventually to travel around and make our own kind of houses a bit further away. Now, as you've seen by the title, this series is called Title Classified SMP, which tells us that it's very spyy, would you say? Spyy? I think it's spyy. So, as you see in my hand, I've got an iron, a secret iron door. So if I place it there, it will turn to stone. And it's actually a door. If I actually got maybe a better door for you to see here. There we go. It's so like that one there. It's an actual door. You can walk into it. Close it so you can't walk into it. Not pretty cool. Yeah, so that's there is basically just what's the secret mod. And we've got a couple other ones. We've got the security craft mod. We have got some interesting stuff in it. Very interesting stuff. We've even got a sentry. What? I didn't know we had this. That's, that's apparently a sentry. Okay. Well, we've got other sentries as well. I don't know how to get rid of that. Um, okay. But anyway, we've got some other ones. We have got, obviously we've got the Da Vinci's Vessels mod that allows us to make aircrafts and boats, which is very exciting. We've got some explosives here and some extra reinforced decorations, some extra animals, some extra bosses as well. Now here's the secret room. This one's going to be a big part of most people's SMP experience where they can make secret rooms within their household. Maybe extra mods as well coming soon. By the way, there's the elevator mod. It is very important. And we've also got the traveler backpack mod, 
we have some wireless redstone try and get an extra wee bit of auto crafting in there as we can see we've also got a auto crafting mod some of the stuff I have no idea what it is but we've got it because I know it's quite important and we've just got loads of build craft we've got the tinker mods that allows us so we can make our own tools and make our own armor and there's some interesting stuff let me show you the slingshot for example it is um interesting to say the least so this SMP is going to be extremely interesting at times but we'll just have to see what people do within it now we have got some other mods as well we've got some loot mod i haven't looked at that we've got the dynamic trees this is pretty cool guys the dynamic tree here's a tree we're not going to be allowed to cut these ones down but this is the dynamic tree cut it and it falls over and if you cut the branches as well then they also fall which is really cool and if we cut them here it would still keep that on and then they drop of course their wood that they're supposed to drop now we've got the ice and fire mod it allows us to have dragons and a ton of extra bosses and mobs in the game like an absolute ton and a whole lot of new mobs in it are blocks as well which is nice and then we got some of the mousies mobs it is a really cool mod as well so i thought i would download it now there isn't a much more to it except the primitive mobs it's all simple enough we have got the iron chest mod that allows us just to have quite a bit of extra storage didn't mean to drop my slingshot let me grab that but yeah it allows us to have a lot more storage as you can see and we do have a mod that allows us to do the auto crafting now we've got a storage drawers it just allows you to like store stuff so if we get the site I don't know how these work, uh -huh. so if we were to get ourselves a storage drawer here, and we were to, we could put these here in it, and then you could only store those, and if you right click, it will drop them, but since there's none on it, then it's not going to drop them. And then last but not least, we have the future MC mod, that allows us to have 1.16 stuff, in 1.12 which is really cool it all works the exact same which is really really nice to see now let's go into spectator mode because the coolest thing i think about one of the updates that i've got is the caves update kind of mod so with this mod we have basically got 1.17 early this is basically what caves are going to look like. We've got the skeletites, we've got the whatever the other ones are. We've got water merged caves. This is actually my first water merged one I've seen. And we've got just huge ones. We've got some random spawns, that's a different mod, which is nice. And as I've seen over here somewhere, there was, ah, there was a mine shaft yes we've got a mod that changes mine shafts completely all right so here we are in the nether now as you can tell already this is not what 1.12 nethers look like once again we have got some extra mods for the nether we've got the better nether mod we've even got the biome so plenty mod which helps a lot out in the nether's structure but anyway i am the future mr mobile from the future let's just hope that past me has a pleasant journey through the wormhole here it's gonna have a blast all the time you know and um yeah boy obviously the mayor and there'll be some interesting updates coming to the town very very soon and there'll be some spy stuff happening around the corner. But if you're looking forward, as I said, like, subscribe, join the Discord if you have any questions. And there will be a tutorial soon on how to join the S. Hey, I hope you guys are excited. And I will see you, well, I guess when I get through the wormhole.
See ya. 